Hello and welcome back with another SPS video and today we are back on Lunar SPS and today boys we're going to be showcasing a brand new update. Lots of new things has been added to this lovely old school RuneScape server. The server has been off for quite a bit of time. It's pretty pretty unique, a very lovely community and if you guys would like to check it out all the links are down below. Really quick before we go into the giveaway, I'd like to turn on to the giveaway. We're going to be giving away a $25 scroll as well as one of these brand new packs right here, the little Darak 2 won a lucky winner. All you have to do for that is like the video, comment your in-game name down below, and be subscribed to my channel. And again, if you guys would like to check out the server, all the links are down below. And I would say, let's get right into the video. Also, for all the people who are curious, there's currently 31 people online, peaking around 40. So, a lovely small community. They're trying to get like 50 plus online. So, um, yeah, maybe you guys will be part of this community very soon. So, before we jump into the updates, I would love to showcase you guys really quick two things which are pretty unique on Luna. The first thing, obviously, you guys can play, not obviously, but you can play luna on your mobile phones that is absolutely crazy not many servers actually offer that but you can actually play this game on your mobile from from wherever you want as long as you have an internet connection and the second thing what i really like about luna is a custom rate these guys have i've done it a mo multiple times before i really love it and um it is called the Frozen Prison. I love this one so much. It's not even funny. So you enter it pretty much through this uh, prison right here. Then you can go ahead and start a new raid. Alrighty, so we've just joined Luna's raid right here. We'll be one-shotting everything, so that is not normally the way it goes. But I would like to show you regardless, so we go really quick through it. So the idea behind the raid is you start here from the first room where you guys find the first different NPCs you guys have to slay. I really don't want to fucking die though. And uh, yeah, after you kill this, you want to go east or west, doesn't really matter, for the two rooms. Alright, so here we have the east room. Look at that. We got the lava dragon. All these NPCs have some custom animations as well. It's pretty fucking cool as well. I think this one got a sort of like a different waves that are being spawned. If we wouldn't fucking one shot him, which uh, we just did, but there's a bunch of like waves that are coming towards you, like Queen Black Dragon mechanics, similarly. And then you have to like sort of dodge them, otherwise, you're getting really big damage. Also, if you die, don't get kicked out of the raid, you'll literally just spawn in the middle again, and you can join your teammate. Next room will be fought all the way to the west. You have to kill all the different NPCs, so make sure to do that. Again, we were just one shotting everything here for a quick run through. And uh, in there, I think we have the Siren boss located. Oh, yeah. Fragment of Siren. Look at this bad boy, dude. Chilling over there, and then you just go out and attack it, and it will be spawning. Look at this beauty, dude. Huge fan of this model, by the way. Really, really big fan of it. And, uh, yeah, also got some custom animations, but again, we're literally just one-shotting it. Okay, then you can either go from the middle, or you can just go north, and then you have to go east. It really doesn't matter. You can choose whatever you want. Over here, we got the barrel chest, which we just one-shot it and fucking loot it. Me just slapping everything. And then you go to the middle... Well, we're going to be finding the next location. This location right here got the next uh, custom boss, as you can see right here. The Indacracy, which we, again, one-shot it, but normally this takes quite a bit of time. Then you want to keep a running north. Okay, over here is the first mechanics. One of the bosses are attacking with magic, the other one with range. So, one boss you can only attack with magic, the other one you can only attack with range. After you kill both of them... You can pass this floor. Okay, we are in the Lucian boss. That's going to be the fun room right here. This bad boy got actually uh, a couple mechanics as well. It's not just the Lucian. After he gets to specific HP, he's going to be spawning as well. A uh, little boss right here. As we can see, the Abomination boss is spawning. But normally, you can't kill the Lucian before you don't kill the Abomination. But we just one shot at him. And then you get the loot. That eases that. A lot of mechanics included as well, obviously. We just went really quick through it. And uh, yeah, that is pretty much the custom raid on Luna. I love it. I love people who do love it as well. And it's super fun to do. So I've just asked Luna, what's the best thing you can get from here? And he told me the bow of Ferdihan. As you can see, right, I'm not sure how you pronounce it, honestly. I've asked him if it's better than Tebow. It, it told me, it's the same as on Oscar RuneScape. It all damaged the Tebow in some spot, but not against magic-based creatures. All right, the next thing I would like to show is a brand new content piece they've added towards the game. It's finally some gambling content. Column Column Dice has been added to Luna. As you can see right here, a lovely dice plays. As you can see, a few people already here as well gambling. That's pretty interesting, actually. And uh, yeah, these two guys are actually gambling each other. Uh, so, we're gonna go ahead and obviously just gamble Mr. Luna. So, right click, click on gamble, and then we can go ahead and gamble. Let's put some blood money against the beautiful... Ooh, that's the bow I was talking about, dude. The bow of Fernerinen, inactive. Okay, let's go. Let's win it so we can showcase this. Oh my god, look at that spawn as well. That's freaking cool, actually. And, um, yeah, we're starting the flow poker. Good luck to the man. 
Bry, you know I'm the fucking flower poker king. He gets a white one, and what do you mean, dude? Oh my god, he gets a fucking white one on my fucking first bird. That's sad. Well, no problem for the gambling king right there. Oh god, please. Give the pastel. Of course, dude, we lose. Oh my god, sad life. And then pretty much this interface opens pretty nice, actually. And he's happy about it, dude. Give me a rematch. Alrighty, here we go. Good luck to the man. This time we're winning, and then we're gonna win the freaking bow. Good luck to the man, but I really like the place. They've created it really, really nicely. And also like the fact the sort of like spawning in and spawning out thing. And it would be amazing if we could get a pair. Thank you very much. And finish him. Two pairs. Yes, we won. Nice. Okay, back to the thing right here. Very nice. So he just got the bow as well here. And that is the bow you guys can get from this sort of like raid three slash custom raid. Okay, next up we're gonna go to the Revenant's place right there. They've made it 101 old school runescape based with a single plus nine. That's pretty cool. And uh, yes, I would like to go there. Hopefully no one is there to interrupt me actually. So Luna is with me. And also you might have realized we have these little sacks here in the inventory. If you guys don't know what they do, they're pretty much brand new to Luna and I've actually not seen them on any other server before. Uh, so the idea behind them is you guys, instead of having room to bring these sacks right here, so as you will see, I can actually go ahead and spell it because all we need for that is one of these sacks right there, which are called the Vengeance Sacks. So you have also, for example, the uh, Ancient Sack right here, so you can do all the ice spells with it. And then you have also the um, Blight and Bind Sacks. You have also the Entangle Sacks. You have the Snare Sacks. You have the Teleports. And you have the Vengeance ones as well. Also, we got some infos right here from Mr. Luna. Hopefully, this guy's gonna let me alone, dude. Uh, so, basically, all the revenants are all spread out now, as we can see right there. That's pretty interesting, actually. And it's single plus a combo. That's cool. Also, has updated the uh, the Aver Averise necklace, which increases the damage. Very nice. And again, all these sacks you guys see here in the inventory are also common drops from these revenants. So, you guys can actually... Go ahead and farm all of them in here. So let's have a look into the drop tables right here. As you can see right here, 1 in 60, you got 12 of these sacks here. Of this lovely Revenant boss right here. Also, all the ancient effigies will be gotten, will be got from these bad boys as well here. So, um, yeah. Revenant's definitely a good place to farm some lovely stuff. All right, on Luna, you also have these lovely different community events. For example, the PV tournaments, as you can see right there. We got uh, a tournament going on right now that's just like for the showcase right here. That is a range pure G ball tournament. Every winner gets himself some lovely rewards as well. We got Luna fighting again here, highest PK. So good luck to the boys. Let's see who's going to be the lucky one. Ooh, and he's going in with the SPAC. Oh, that was a tragic SPAC, my man. And the anchor was also bad. Switch right there. Let's see who's going to be the lucky winner. Oh, shit. Good fight. Mr. Luna got actually clapped there. Nice switch. Highest ping. Congrats to you. Another really cool thing uh, Luna got is these custom presets right there. So you guys can make your own preset that you guys can save. You can customize it and then you can load it up whenever you want. Activate my preset and um, yeah, I don't have the items apparently. That's pretty sad. But over here, you guys can go and, and pretty much get yourself all the stuff you want to get on it. As for example, um, yeah, set the inventory equipment on the presets. So for example, if I'm wearing this one and you want to go ahead that one. Uh, set my current inventory, please. Oh, sorry, not the inventory. More like the equipment. There you go. And then it will load up. Same for inventory. You can also go for the different spell books you want to have. So it's really, really easy to use. And it's very convenient to make. So make sure to get yourself one of these. Okay, also a uh, brand new editor towards the game with the lovely Revenant update is Lenny. That's a new PK shop right there where you guys will be able to spend your PK piece for some lovely items. As you can see, a huge variety of items you guys can purchase from it. And, um, yeah, things like Zara Dom and Lights in here. A bunch of imbued rings are in here as well. And so many other beautiful things you guys can purchase. And if you guys want to have some proper PK and stuff, there's a bunch of new location that's been added. So, for example, Column Column Home PvP that you guys can teleport to. Where you guys will be able to fight some people. So, as you can see right here, um, this is the home PvP. This is not the regular home area. This is the PvP place. And, um, yeah, there's also these PK chests, which I'll go into a second. Yay, I just fucking one-shotted him. That is so freaking beautiful. As you can see, PK tickets coming in. You also get blood money, and you also get a bunch of coins. Very nice. So, let's have a look at what we can get from the PK chest right here. Jesus Christ. So, first things first, we have Vassal's Longsword, Morrigan's items. 
Abyssal Whip, Imbue Page, Crack and Tentacles, stuff. As you can see, tons of freaking items you guys can get for free. Uh, you get these keys by literally killing people. It's not a guarantee you get a key. Uh, for example, I didn't get a key for this kill right there. But it's pretty much like a 50-50 to get a key or not. And then you can go ahead and open it for all these beautiful items. And obviously, the best one is a lovely Vesta's Longsword. Also new to Luna is the brand new birdhouse that has been added towards the game and the Hispari boss that you guys can farm. So as you can tell, so much stuff you guys can do on here is absolutely crazy. There is also the lovely diaries and custom quests that you guys can complete on Luna. And the last thing I would like to show you on this video right here is the lovely PK scoreboard. As you can see, lovely next to the tournament section as well. Very nice fitting with all the peaking updates they've done this update. So you can see the overall leaderboards right here. So on the top, we got 2003 Mikey with three kills and zero deaths. Beautiful 3.0 KDA. This is a brand new release, by the way. Then you can search also for Edge will be Kang and the Deep will be Kang as well. So lovely, lovely coding stuff right here. So much new content. And um, yeah, I can just say Luna is involving really nicely. It's been off for quite a bit of time. Again, mobile client as well included for the people who'd like to play on their phone. If they can't play on PCs when they're not home, whatever. Definitely check out this server and also don't forget to sign up for the giveaway. Like the video, comment your name down below, be subscribed to my channel. All the links for Luna down below. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, smash the like button. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks so much for tuning in, everybody. Love y'all. Have a good one.